Now I stopped the video there, just paused it, and um, I've switched the printer on. It's pointless having it going, the camera going all the time because you'd be watching it for 20 25 minutes. So I switched the printer on, it's now going through its setup procedure. All printers do this, their setup procedure. We'll just wait for it to finish that. And what it's noticed here is that the door is open. You can't see it, I'm not going to take the camera up there, but here there's a little screen and it's saying door open. It's sensed that this door is open. So just so we can make sure that it's working, we're going to close the door by the way, but I'm going to set the trigger here, in here, now it thinks the door is closed. There's a little sensor there when this door closes up. I've just pushed it up with this uh, knife. It thinks the door's closed. So it's going through some more procedures. And if you watch, the cartridges will come across to the left. This is quite normal for any printer. If you'd just put cartridges in there normally, that would have happened. Now the printer's ready to print actually. It's going to cross to the left because I've got the sensor pressed in with a knife. This door isn't up. So we, we, we're letting it pretend that the door is up. So what we're going to do is let you see it printing like this and then show you how to put the door up and hold everything into place. But we're folding the doors in and what I've done under here, I've put a local magazine in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scan it. And there we go. It's scanning the document. This piping will be out of the way once we've uh, done the rest, but I just want you to see it working with the door open. Printing at a good speed, and the printing quality is absolutely amazing. It's an amazing printer, good speed. The quality when it comes out is excellent. I'm going to let go of that sensor so the things will move about a bit. But if you look at that, that's a scan of a local magazine and the print is absolutely perfect. You've seen it printing with the door open, so you don't want to be leaving it like that though, do you? So what I'm going to do, we're going to do it with the door closed. Now the door sensor is in here, a little slot. This bit down here on the left, you can just see it with my finger. I'll just turn around a little bit. That there presses into this gap here so it knows the door is closed. Now luckily on this one, we don't have to put any paper in or anything. All we have to do is get the piping, bring it across like it is in there, and close the door up. Now don't go too hard. Push this side that I've got hold of now with my left hand here. That's, that, now it thinks the door is closed. And if you look over to this right hand side, I'll move the camera around. The door is open a little bit. We can just push it to that. Now it's open the tiniest bit and it's not crushing the pipes. The ink can still freely flow through those pipes. It's not trapping it, the ink will get through easily. So really, it's all shut. You've just got that little tiny bit up here. Just that little bit open. Now if you want a CIS and you're gonna print really cheaply instead of the ridiculous HP prices, a little gap like that is nothing to have to put up with. So let's see it working now. The door's closed. Let's see it print. We'll scan that document again.
and there it is printing out again. Perfect prints. So we know that it's all working perfectly okay, but carry on watching because I'm going to point a few right, things exactly. what to watch out for. Now it monitors the cartridges and obviously it'll start thinking that the cartridges are empty. It will come up with a notice saying ink running low or this cartridge is depleted. All you do is click OK to continue. You can use these cartridges for a very long time. They will eventually wear out and you'll have to change the cartridges over, but I'm talking a very, very long way down the line. These are going to print for a very, very long time. Superb printing, you won't get any problems. If it ever gets to the stage where you do get problems with cartridges, just get in touch with me, but it is rare. The cartridge will last a tremendously long time. So don't forget, low ink or depleted message means just press OK to carry on printing. A couple of other things, you've got to make sure that your bottles here are on the same level as your printer. You can't have them up here or the gravity will pull the ink through and it will leak all over the printer. Don't forget to put your air bungs in like this. There's an air bung for each one. You leave the small, the big plastic one in the bottom and pull out the small one at the top and place your air filters in there. They let air in but won't let the ink out if you accidentally knock it. Now you will get bottles of ink. Your CIS will be about this full of ink when we send it. You also get bottles of ink making up to a total of 100 mil of each colour. So you're saving absolutely fortune on printing costs. It's something like, I don't know, about 30p equivalent per HP cartridge when you know for well they cost between 12 and 15 pounds each. So massive savings. My telephone number will be on at the end of this uh, film and also the website. The website's not quite ready. It will be ready soon, well before the end of February. Thanks for watching.